Hello guys and welcome back. The, if you remember the last part, we were talking about basically the general shapes and how uh, we could start from a sphere to basically make the base shapes of the character. You need to look at it from the side view, from top view, from front view, back view, and look at it from different angles to make sure everything is right. And our mesh right now is a, a basically the um, density of the uh, mesh for our model is low, so we cannot add. Uh, we couldn't add the details that we wanted last session. So this session uh, we start to add more subdivision. Uh, so here our resolution. Here in the resolution currently is thirty two. If we change it to uh, it's basically 128 and drag you see immediately after clicking and dragging on the canvas it increase the density of the mesh for us okay so let's start uh, by adding eyeballs we have three eyeballs we go to the subtool pa uh, sub palette underneath of the tool menu on the right side, add a paint. After that, uh, from the menu that pops up, choose a sphere. Click on the sphere the uh, in the subtools menus and it's W. So it's the Gizmo 3D pops up, scale it down. I want to fit it in the basically eye sockets or eyeballs okay is roughly i think he's good so far so a little bit push it back from the side view we see that more maybe okay cool so how we can mirror this and uh, mirror this eyeball to the other side we need to go to under uh, on the top from the Z plugin menu. Click on the Subtool Master Z plugin, Subtool Master, and Mirror. Just hit OK. Everything is OK. It accept the default setting. There you go. And rename it here. I. Oh. I click on the rename button. Select the subtool and click on the rename. You can rename that. And let's rename the other one to body. Okay, that's good. So we want one other basically eyeball for this uh, the middle eye. Click on append eyeball and scale it down, move it forward, scale it down, move it and distance. The size that I see there, I think that's enough. But I need to push it back on the side view when we look at it. Okay, that's good. So uh, let's call it middle. The next step for us will be here to start at this ridge on the top of uh, the middle line. I'm using clay builder brush. B again, you can give, you can find it here in this way to hit B on your keyboard and C. It filters all of the brushes as I see and clay builder is here. Okay. Stretch topology control right. and for the places that uh, we are sculpting and the thickness is very low, um, that's, um, they're very thin and the thickness is very low. So to avoid to affect the other side when we are sculpting one side, the same thing that see, this happened here when I was sculpting the other side is pulling basically pulling the side with itself too. So to avoid that, there is a button 
Okay, we go to the brushes menu and if I'm right, it should be... Oops. Mm. Auto masking. Yes, here. Brushes, auto masking, and back face mask. And you can click on this one. It doesn't affect the other side when you're sculpting once you see. The other side is intact. Okay, smooth out a little bit. And let me go here for me to add more thickness to this part and bring it forward. Oops. Use move brush. Bring it forward. Top view. Let's see what's going on. It should be a nice curve here. Shouldn't be completely the square shape. Okay. See, from the front is a little bit square. We need to fix that too. This is for right now. And the other brush I used is a standard brush. And the option that I turned on is lazy mouse. Without lazy mouse, see, we don't know exactly where we are going. But lazy mouse is here, the stroke menu, lazy mouse, and turn on the lazy mouse and increase the lazy radius to maybe 70, 80. So it's right now, see. There is a delay when we are sculpting, but we see where we are going, see? This line shows us, this red line. Okay. I'm going to add more on here, okay. So this is for this part and later we will come back to see if it matches with everything that we have or not. So the eye from the front view is basically some kind of oval shape. It's not completely, it's basically circular. We don't see circular for eye opening. Eye opening is oval shape. So let's just start with clay build up, add more clay here and Use move brush. By moving up and down, I try to make sharp corners. And then remesh. Almost as good. It's wrap is around the sphere that we have a button with the thing that I told you guys last session to look at your model from different angles constantly to make sure everything is right. Okay. It's good for so right now. Okay, from here we see how uh, it's basically sharp is the angle from the bottom of the eye to the nose. So we need to apply that. For that purpose, we mask this part, the bottom of the eye, so just intact, and we move, use move tool, move everything else forward. I'm trying to make that angle that we're looking and okay 
So again, look from different angle, from the top. You need to make a nice curve here because this character is cute. Most of the shapes should be uh, basically arc, circular, sphere, and so on. Okay, this is into that. And here we should make a nicer transition. Use more brush, bring it out a little bit on top of you. Just to make sure. Okay. Okay. So that's good. So let's go to add a little bit. I believe for this to a small eyes. Uh, when you hold shift and click space, you can't decrease the intensity of the smooth brush. If you don't do that, just hit space, you are decreasing and increasing the intensity of the current selected brush, whatever is that. But if you hold uh, first shift and after that space, you can change the intensity. See? Without holding shift, the intensity is different. Right now, shift that space. This is the intensity. I increase it a little bit. So I decrease the intensity from 100 to something around 30 to not uh, basically destroy the form that I already established. Just I want to make a, a nice transition and give me a better control on uh, basically to smoothing the surface without destroying the uh, basically the forms and shapes. Okay, so here we need to add a little bit higher to the top part. Let's see how it is going. Make a nice transition here. Something for the bottom, a little bit higher, it. finish. Let's move this one a little bit to this side and this one to make it a little bit smaller. Make this one up and okay, cool. So the next thing we need to add the nose here. We're adding the nose. Starts to mask here this part. Hold control. Let's make the brush size smaller. Hold control and here. And if you, for example, it's masked more than what you need and you want to remove the extra parts, control and alt. But control and alt, you can remove the extra part that you already masked wrongly. Okay. This is for this Oops. control. And a little bit more bigger. On the side view, I think so. Okay. After that, control and click on that canvas to reverse the mask. W, bring the gizmo 3D here and here. Just moving out. Okay. And smooth out the part that already extrudes. To make 
it round. Here I see it needs to be a little bit, the distance should be more than what we have here. I mask it, but this time, instead of the regular mask, let me click on this. Uh, to have an option here, lasso mask here. Lasso mask. The lasso mask, you can drag and basically draw the mask area. Okay, I mask this part, reverse the mask, and let's move this one. Lower and further from the basically eye sockets and the lower eyelid. By doing that, after that, we need to go to a standard brush, hold uh, Alt to dig in and make this transition here. Okay. Mesh. Okay, here this is basically it's, it's angular, it should be straight based on the concept, so we need to use the move tool, move brush, and push this one a little bit back. That. We need to take care of the mouse. Okay, for the mouse, we use the standard brush, increase the lazy mouse radius, and enable first of all, enable lazy mouse and increase the lazy mouse radius. You can find it here a stroke lazy mouse and lazy mouse radius. You see, lazy radius. Okay, put it around 70 for the radius, and here I start to define the mouse. Much better. Okay. Remesh it again. And get this mask, this part. I'm in the lasso mask. I'm using lasso mask brush. And here add more clay here because we need that based on reference. Again, use this and send it. There we go. Yes. Okay, you see a little bit uh, bump uh, on the upper lip, and for that, I use it a standard brush and go one. Let's make the brush a little bit smaller. One pass and the here on the bottom of the upper lip and dig in a little bit here, a little bit from the bottom view. Okay, make it rounder, nicer. Okay, cool. And smooth this part, make a nice transition between them. Okay. Almost there, but okay. use the lasso mask and push this one a little bit back. Okay, make it far. And what we need reverse the mask and push this one a little bit forward. Okay. okay, cool. After this, the chin area pops out a little bit more. And 
It's the nose from the front view. Some more angular here. I use the center brush to achieve that. Okay. Yep. That's much better. Increase the size of brush and smooth out. Around it. And go here. Nice shape here. But then the center, you can make, uh, you can emphasize on the definitions and separate the shapes from each other. It helps you guys really in this part. So let's save. And the next part that I want to take care of that is arms and basically the armpits. The last session, because of the low resolutions, the arm attached to the body. So let's make a little bit at smile to our character. Yes, there you go. Life is with the smile is much better. So let's add a little bit of smile here. Okay, there you go. Right now, we need to move these parts up. And remesh, see? It doesn't, uh, again, attach to the body because we have more resolution in comparison um, to last session. Move, I'm using move to okay. and a little bit of the clay build up rough round back check everything is fine and make sure that everything is working for us here a little bit dig in okay and this is something like this forward if I don't look at side view because last session we didn't have the side view. Uh, the first thing that shows up is the belly. The belly should go higher here. And Shape is lined up a little bit and basically it's the highest part from the side view is behind that basically the lips. So here I measure that and add it here. There you go. Smooth out everything. Nice. And the legs. The thing that I see here, the legs are chubbier. In comparison with what we made last session and more straight smooth out and chop here There is a nice definition I see here. So to make that, I need to dig in and carve out some parts of basically the leg and make a nicer transition here. Okay, so right now it make, it make more sense. Here, like that. Rounder, I'm adding more clay. 
I'm not worried about smoothing because after that easily I can smooth that but at that moment just I wanted to build the right forms and right shapes here and smooth out this part Okay, the knee should go backward, look at the angle. And ours is a straight, but this one goes backward. This part. Okay. That's much better. Okay, let's hide the arms for a second to, to uh, be able uh, to focus on the body from the side with the silhouette. To do that, uh, we need to hold Control Shift and drag. After that, add Alt to your select and to the combination of the key that you're holding, Control Shift and after you drag Alt. There you go, it becomes red and it hides. If you want to bring everything back, Control shift click on the, uh, basically it's empty space of the canvas. Control shift Alt, drag, there you go. So, we can see better what's going on here and what we need to fix here. It's more angular in comparison to what we had before. Here the box goes, but uh, basically anywhere on the inside. If I draw a vertical line, the box ends uh, from the, this lined up with the beginning of the ears. So we need to push back the ears here a little bit. Walk on everything, okay. And Push this one. More. And here we see a nice and good prominent bump here. So add that. The thing is that. I guess we don't sit uh, the neck exactly how it connects to the body, but I feel because this character is a little bit chubby and chubby people say their neck is um, somehow there is no definition between uh, the neck and the back area of the torso. So let's connect it together to make a nicer shape here. Smooth out everything. Let's increase the intensity of the smooth brush and increase the size, both intensity and size, to make it faster. And okay, there you go. So, right now, I feel is much better for the chubby character the next thing we need to add the tail because we don't have it here but before that let's fix this lump and bumps here I need to edit them real quick smooth it out and That's much better. And here, this 
really sharp, I need to make it smoother. I think that I'm sculpting right now is the pelvis. I'm guessing that this line goes for the pelvis and indication of the pelvis a little bit. Again, this character is a stylized, but we need to know the anatomy underneath what's going on. How to simplify the anatomy. Okay, so the leg from the front is too thick. We need to take care of that. And here, just cut them apart. There we go. Make it thinner as much as we can. Okay. And push it up. Smooth it out. So let's add the tail here for adding the tail. To mask, but instead of the lasso mask, we go to the mask pen. Mask pen here. Let's select that. And from here is good. Reverse the selection. And bring the basically this mm, much review. Add it here. Okay. There we go. Okay. Go to mesh it and smooth it out. So, for the tail, we see that it's thicker than what we have. The brush that can help us to make it thicken is Inflate. Turn on, uh, we select Inflate and turn on Lazy Mouse. It is as lazy as the battery is enough. Make the brush size bigger, see? As soon as you start to draw your strokes, it becomes thicker. But in the tip, it's narrower. We need to make it narrower. But here, it's thicker. And here, teach. Okay. And we need to shape that too because it has a nice curvature into the uh, basically the tail. Okay. For that, we need to mask. Uh, use that mask lasso. And here, select tail. Let's reverse the selection to not affect the other parts that we already fixed them. Use move tool with its very big size. And it should be lined up with the bottom of the basically. It. So we need to make it still thicker using plates okay after I think this Tail. Still, I don't like this part a little. I need to fix that. Okay. Put it down. And put it back in there. Okay, there you go. Okay. 
So we add that and let's fix this area that it happened because we masked arms before and we pushed and pulled the basically the back area a little bit so it affected that part. So here see how it's uh, narrow, we use inflate brush again. Inflate brush is a really good brush for adding volume where you have a round basically or tubular tube shape basically shapes. Okay. We are done here. Let's add a little, a little bit bumps on the feet. For that again, mask pen here, mask. Yeah. Make sure the mask the right part. Again, if you mask or wrongly one part, control and RC and raising the mask. But just control mask the part that you are looking for. Reverse the mask, bring in Gizmo 3D, extrude it, okay, that's good, so smooth it out right now, we need to go here and start to smooth it out. We need to move it a little bit back to make it a little bit bigger. Run this view to okay. a little bit more from top view. Look at it, see if it works or not. Right now we need to smooth it out to make a nice smooth transition between this part that we are working with. Make sure it out smooth. There you go. Okay, the next part to add the definition. As I mentioned before, the best brush for adding definition and emphasizing that it's damn standard. And lazy mouse is uh, on, right? Lazy radius on 70. There you go. As soon as you start to try your strokes, it gives you a nice definition here. And you should go all the way down, even to the bottom. There you go. Let's mask this force. Let's use the lasso mask and let's go a little bit this part and move this part down. Yes. Smooth it out. Move this part down. There you go. Okay. And push this forward a little bit forward based on the side view that I see is a curve here. Nice curve. Okay. 
So here I have to build from the front with this part is a little door, big sets. Line them up. There you go. And the next part before going to the next one is safe. And the same to the right, this part. Here's Okay, the ears are rotated outwards. So to do that, we need to mask, lasso mask here, select it, and reverse the mask, bring the basically uh, our Gizmo 3D, move them up, draw a little bit straight, and Rotate them this way. Move them forward, rotate them. This, with this gizmo 3D, you can do the rotation uh, to move and uh, scaling, moving, scaling, and rotation at the same time. That's uh, one of the great benefits of using that easy brush. And there we are, move it a little bit this way. Okay, so right now let's use move brush and push this back. Smooth it out real quick and move it out. Smooth it out, fix that part. So I see this part, it's basically the tip of the uh, ears, goes back forth this way, and there's a nice curve here, try to apply that, and here. It's this kind of shape. And finally, this part is here. Constantly, I'm looking at the reference and drawing imaginary vertical and horizontal line, and uh, based on that, measure the angles and see uh, how should I move or sculpt the part of the model that I'm working on. It's very important that constantly you need to measure that and make sure. Everything is right. Okay, but right now I feel I need to open a little bit. Okay, like this. Or maybe not. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's clean up this part. Using play build up, adding, adding and basically carving in both to, to make a, a smooth surface. Sometimes I add, sometimes I carve in. Depends. 
adjust it. Basically, it's kind of clipped up. I try to make a nice base, and after that, I use the smooth brush to get the final result that I'm looking for. Okay, I have a little bit here because I saw a little bit indentation there. And sometimes I use more brush, put it a bit close. Okay, there you go. And for this part. Okay. So let's save this one. And real quick, let's add the fair around the neck. So to do that, there is a nice technique. You need to use a mask lasso and I'm sorry, mask pen, mask pen, and start to mask the parts that's the and basically the fur and the hair grows from that parts. After this part here goes like this. Don't worry if you mask too much or less because after that, see, I mask too much here. I can go use Alt, Control Alt, and remove it here. I think it's too much. Again, Control Alt, Control. Mask this part. Make a nice transition here. Okay, there you go. Then we'll go toward the back. Side view, it goes all the way to here. Okay. 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 This is the part that basically the fur needs to go from it. After masking, we need to go to that basically sub uh, subtool palette and click on extract. And turn off the T border and click on extract. But as as soon as you start to rotate your model, it disappears. But let's do it again. Click on extract. Okay, let's see if the thickness is enough. Let's make the thickness a little bit more. It's one zero point five. And extract. Okay, that's much better. Again, hit extract and right now you need to hit accept. Finalize that. Okay, this one it may create a new subtool here for you. You select everything, rename that called fair, and let's go to our uh, mesh. See, it's still selected. Mask, unmask that. See, unmask that, and let's go to the fair and change it to dynamesh. Let's put it on 128. It's not dynamic uh, automatically, it doesn't make but um, give us a dynamic. So after it's make it dynamic or you can do it here. Dynamic under the geom under the geometry palette, dynamic and 120 resolution. Let's smooth out the borders. Make it nice and clean. After we have that, we need to go and use move brush here. This part, which is almost a straight line. And here should be angular. Okay. There you go. 
that fuel, this fuel. I need to push this one a little bit forward. This one forward. And make it a nice transition here. Okay. A bit. Okay. I want to make sure that there is no space between the fair and the body because the fair actually pulls from the body, so it should, there shouldn't be any space between them. So after we made okay from the back view, we need to fix that too. Now it comes the shape is like this. Keep it from the bottom view. Okay. There. Spit it out here too. Spit it out. Okay. So to, to add the texture of that, basically uh, the fair to this part. First of all, we see some. Parts of the hair are basically coming outside. Let's turn off that symmetry for a second. And the brush that I'm using here is B Snakebook S. And Snakebook is here. Yep. This brush is great for making individual hairs, parts of hair. Let's smooth it out. There you go. Make sure I am at the right spot. We turn this uh, fair uh, geometry to dynamic, so it's because of that. Uh, right now, we have a freedom to move, push, pull in any direction that we want. And just simply click and drag and it's dynamesh and remesh and it gives us the topology that we need for the parts that right now we are extruding. Okay, this is for this part, let's make it smaller here. And if you think one of the parts that you made is too thin, use inflates. There you go. Okay. And move them down a little bit. Side, we have the same thing here with B snake hook, and there's some hair seems to come out and make a nice shape here. Spit it out. The 
snake hook and inflate and move the other three brushes that I use for making hair but I start with inflate uh, sorry the snake hook after that I use Moo and if I need and some of that basically hair strands are too uh, head chunks are too thin I use inflate to basically add thickness to them okay. From sides, we have the same thing. Just using right this and coach. Make sure everything is right. Try to break the symmetry, try not to do the same thing that you did this side to make it a little bit more believable. So we have the major parts done. Okay, let's move this part in. Smooth it out to remove the edge here. Okay. Thickness. So smooth it a little bit back. Here, the front part should be sharper. I forgot that. I'm fixing that part right now. There you go. And push it back. Attach the body. That's much better. Okay, so uh, I've, when I look at the uh, front view, I see the thickness in this part that I don't have it here. Uh, for that, I turn on the symmetry again. You can do it. Uh, this is my short. This is my shortcut here. You can do it by going uh, basically transform and active symmetry or hit X button. And I use the lasso mask. Mask these areas, the borders, and by clicking on the mask area, holding control and click on the mask, it blurs the border of the mask. I blurred it a little bit, and I use move tool to add thickness from the front view.
this one and so right now I feel much better comparison to before but I need to fix this part around the ears and go back just this part Sculpting hair is a little bit tricky and it needs time. It needs it needs you guys to spend time to basically look at it from different angles, make sure that the shapes are right, it doesn't have a space from that basically body. I cleared the mask. Try to smooth it out. And okay, and let's real quick add the teeth here. For the T's, you need to go to the subtle palette, hit a paint, and use basically a sphere again, rename it, T's, and move it here, save, apply, scale it down. Okay, it's, it's scale it set in the unproportional along uh, Y and Z. Okay. And I think that I'm using right this clip care brush. When you want to um, basically it's called Control Shift and select on the icon that is here for you guys. Click on this icon on the top, you can go to clip here, select clip here, and the part that is a shadow, it removes the geometry. Click here, there you go, make it flat and, and let's turn it to dynamish, dynamish, and okay, that's it. So let's move it up, and let's Go and basically zip plug in, subtle master mirror, the same thing that we did for the eyeballs. Return symmetry. Start to a little bit smooth them, make them sharper. Smooth it out and from this angle too. Push them back and make it a little bit curly. Here, we need to rotate them. The mouse to cherry shot the mouse and push them back. Bring it here. Bring it up. Move it a little bit this way. This is the concept. Okay. Move it up. Space. Wider. Okay. Cool. So here uh, we need to come back to our bodies and move it a little bit back or besides the teeth and 
push this forward a little bit forward. Here, up a little bit. Cover that. Okay. Select this again. Go back to body. Okay. The artist is a little bit big. I make them smaller a little bit. Let's look at it from distance. So, this is for this session. We will come back the next session to finish the uh, hands and basically refine it a little bit more and start to paint it. Oh, and uh, basically, let's uh, say it again. Uh, finish the hands, refine it a little bit and uh, retopo it inside of the ZBrush using a very handy tool called under the geometry palette here, zero measure. Using zero measure, uh, remesh it to make it uh, ready for animation and rigging if later you want to do that. So, right now, we are done for this session and Next session, we will finish everything and the painting to the we will start to paint it too. Thank you so much, and let me show you real quick. Basically, overview of what we did today. And that's it. Thank you and have a good day.